So first thing I'm going to be using is some red clay and I'm just going to cut out a small chunk that I need. Don't go ahead and just cut out a huge chunk because what's going to happen is it's going to start drying. So just cut out a small chunk, cover the packet and then when you need some more take it out. I'm also going to be using an old candle jar and some super glue and you just want to start out by making some small blobs and then pressing them down and we're going to fit them into each other. So with some larger blobs and then some smaller ones to fill in the cracks. And that's basically how we're going to do the whole jar. And every few scales you just want to put a little bit of glue to make sure that they don't wobble off later once they've dried. And we're going to fill it in like this. And I'm going to have some larger scales closer to the top of the jar. It's very important every few scales that you put down that you glue it down because otherwise once it dries they are going to flick off. And you're probably going to have to do this again once they've dried but it makes it a lot less work if you do it while you're putting them down. And especially you want to make sure that you really glue down the ones right at the bottom of the jar because these are the ones that are going to get the most abuse. The whole process of doing just the jar will probably take you about 3-4 to four hours depending on how quick you are. And once you're done you want to move on to the lid which shouldn't take too long compared to the rest of the jar. We're going to start out by making the eyeball so you want to take a really large blob of clay, roll it into a ball and then press it down with your hand and that way, because of the natural curve in your hand, you'll get a lovely oval shape. Start pressing on the sides to create an almond shape. And then with a little bit of water, just smooth down the surface. Figure out where exactly you want it on the lid. And then with some super glue, glue it down. Now we're going to create the eyelids, and it's very simple. Just roll it into a thin strip. Flatten it out with whatever you want. You can use a rolling pin or in my case I'm going to be using a nail file. Cut out a slight curve with a craft knife or an ordinary knife. When you've cut it out to the right shape just make sure that you flatten out the edges because if it's got straight hard edges it's not going to look very nice at all. And then we're going to curve it over the eyeball. Cut away any excess that you think is going to interfere with the design later on and flatten out the edges. Now you're going to do exactly the same but on the lower lid. And then basically just repeat the whole pattern that we did on the jar. Just to make sure that the lids don't peel off later I'm going to spray a little bit of water and make sure that they're firmly pressed down. And now for the scales I'm going to do something a little bit similar to what I did on the bottom but the basic pattern for this is the smaller scales close to the eyeball and then the further out they go, the larger they get. With whatever's left of the super glue, just make sure that you really firmly glue the edges and then run this over every single scale on the whole lid before painting it. A little bit of PVA glue in the water, and now we're going to be mixing it with some red ink, a little bit of gold ink, and then lastly some brown ink. Once you've mixed this together, I'm going to be using a fan brush and I'm just going to be painting absolutely everything. And you're probably going to need about four to five coats of this. Once you've painted enough coats, you want to finish off by painting the eyeball. Once you've finished painting, the safest way to make it look a little bit more realistic and to protect the paint is just to put nail varnish all over it. You want to put two to three coats of this. Finish off by spraying it with two or three coats of hairspray just to give it a lovely soft sheen. And that's it, you're done.